Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. This is the fourth lecture of this series, Technical Writing and Presentation Skills. My name is Lukman Shah and this lecture is about paragraph writing and this is a sort of introduction. Uh, I will deliver in two lectures the paragraph writing its essentialist uh, structure. So this is the first uh, paragraph. Uh, if you want to define paragraph in few words in simple manners then paragraph is a series of sentences developing one topic now look at the sequence of this lecture this lecture there will be introduction of paragraph and then topic sentence which is important part of any paragraph writing and then with example i would define and elaborate the topic sentences, the main body sentences, and the clincher sentences, then the developing how to develop a paragraph and the unity and coherence, the element of any paragraph, good paragraph, and then types of paragraph, and then conclusion. <clears throat> so paragraph is normally brief piece of writing, seven to ten sentences long, and we're having a topic sentence and then supporting sentences related to the topic sentence. And then the form refers to overall structure. The overall structure should be well organized, having coherence and unity, and then the grouping of sentences should be focused on single topic, which is the characteristics or the main aim of a paragraph. Now the topic sentence, the topic of a paragraph is stated in the one sentence, the first sentence normally, 99.9% uh, paragraph writing and this topic sentence is the first sentence normally 99.9% .9 cases the first sentence is the topic sentence which is also called the opening sentence the key sentence the main sentence and then the rest of the paragraph consists of sentences that develop or explain the main idea for example, look at this paragraph of five or seven sentences. So the first red, uh, which explain the main idea, uh, which is about the rats and their survival. So that explaining the main idea, and this is called the topic sentence. And then the last sentence, which is also highlighted, underlined, and read in phone, is concluding sentence because what, what we have started in the first sentence, the main idea that is concluded over here and then in between these two underline and red font all other are main body sentences which is strengthening the main uh, the topic sentence and ultimately contributing towards the main idea now developing a paragraph how can we write a topic sentence we can develop a topic sentence by giving examples we can also have the topic sentence by telling an incident a story and we can have also the topic sentence by giving the details of that particular topic the unity in the paragraph unity is in the paragraph when all sentences all material in the paragraph is contributing towards the main idea which is in the first sentence the topic sentence and which is in the topic of that particular paragraph so every sentence in a paragraph should support the main idea expressed in the topic sentence in and in the topic of that. And look at this picture. The main idea is supported by the sentences like the muscular person is having the burden of the whole main thing. So in the same way, the sentences should uh, bearing the burden and should strengthen the main idea. Then moving on to the conclusion, concluding or the clincher sentence. In clincher sentence is the end sentence of any paragraph. This is also called the closing sentence, the summarizing sentence, the concluding sentence, and the clincher sentence. In clincher sentence, normally clinches are cuts the point made in paragraph and end each and everything. <clears throat> and it is the summary. Uh, the precise or uh, the end of a paragraph the coherence in a paragraph what is coherence uh, the strengthening of the idea of one sentence with the other the gluing of one sentence with the other the flow of the thought from the one sentence to another to the third to the fourth to the fifth and this is 
this can be achieved through putting details or examples or incidents in logical look at these stair the upstairs so the first stair there is the first stair the second the third and the fourth and this is the logical order of there is a coherence between first and second second and third and third and fourth when there is a relationship between the sentences that is called coherence when all the four sent uh, steps are but all the sentences are contributing towards the main idea that is called unity and it can be achieved through chronological in relation to each other or in order of importance now connecting sentences within the paragraph to have a sort of coherence the look at the transition words in chronological order like the first first we are discussing this and later on we will this afterwards will with this and then finally this is the chronological order first things uh, come first and then uh, first thing and then second and the third and look at the objects in relation to each other next to this in front of beside between behind near to it these are all called objects in relation to one another and in order of importance however furthermore as a result in fact yet still are or words which can which are uh, clarifying the order of importance no types of paragraph there are four types of paragraph writing <clears throat> the narrative paragraph it is a sort of telling a story and in that is normally done through the dialogue through the character there will be setting there will be a plot and normally the first person pronoun or uh, pronouns are used in this narrative paragraph then persuasive or argumentative paragraph this tries to convince the audience with logics with uh, arguments and this is agreeing a person with your own point or with the, uh, uh, your uh, winning the person on your side then descriptive paragraph this is a sort of elaboration describing thing this is uh, this is called the <clears throat> uh painting in words and this evokes the five senses of the reader and then comes the expository or explanatory paragraph in which facts is presented with figures the realistic way to the point uh, relevant and respected to that particular uh, field so in narrative paragraph the first paragraph narrative paragraph narrative writing you are basically writing about a real life episode or experience that uh, has occurred in your life it may appear easy and numerous students choose this writing uh, this type of writing think, thinking it would be a piece of cake however narrative writing is quite challenging to write this is primarily because students are not well versed with writing about themselves this is self description that is this is subjective type of writing you are included in this writing you are writing this according to your own mind or according to your any character then persuasive or argumentative writing several students find the concept of writing argumentative writing appealing though it can be quite an arduous task argumentative writing give you the ability to write your own exclusive opinion and thoughts and then find relevant evidence back to your argument the real challenge lies in coming up with the right evidence and effectively learning how to defend your point this is winning your own uh, uh, point uh, winning the person and enticing or <clears throat> uh, persuading the person to to agree with your point and then the fourth a descriptive paragraph quite similar to narrative writings descriptive writing paint a picture utilizing the words you jot down you may opt to write a descriptive writing about an individual individual place event or object several law students end up struggling with this type of writing because despite the fact that you are effectively describing something you are not merely writing the writing for the purpose of describing something you must find a deeper value and meaning and eventually communicate that to the reader through your description the most excellent descriptive writing and live on a single object in all the magnificent magnificent details that it possesses the example of the paragraph now look at this paragraph 
this paragraph is about job hunting via internet or the use of job uh, media or internet while searching for job so the first sentence the biggest change in job hunting these days is the use of internet this is the topic sentence the main sentence the key sentence the opener and all the relevant uh, uh, except the last sentence is called the main body sentences which will strengthen the first sentence the idea which is presented in first look at the job seeker can reply to a help wanted notice on a company website this person can also post his or her resume and all these sentences will be strengthening to the topic or to, to, to the point which is explained in the first sentence the biggest change in job hunting and look at the end sentence uh, which is uh, like this the last sentence which is called the clincher sentence this is clearly job hunting is not what it used to be so this is the clincher sentence the summarizing sentence the end sentence and the closing sentence and this is the opening sentence the key sentence the topic sentence the main sentence and rest of the sentences are called the main body sentences which is strengthening the first sentence and normally the topic is declared in this first sentence so the job hunting and the use of internet this is the topic of this paragraph the components of paragraph there should be a topic sentence then supporting sentences and then concluding sentences the topic sentence what is topic sentence the main idea sentence the most general and the most important sentence of the paragraph what does the topic sentence contain the topic sentence what the paragraph is about the controlling idea the writer's attitude or idea about topic and why a topic sentence is important because each and everything which you want to know about the topic uh, will be there the glimpses will be there now example of the topic sentences look at the first sentence the recent improvement in american economy can be seen in the revival of the housing industry this is the one way uh, to write a topic the second example one way to cope with stress is to engage yourself in new activities the topic is stress management and the first sentence of that paragraph is like this and the later on sentences the criteria for a good topic sentence show shows an opinion rather than effect the first sentence should not be very accurate and very uh, you can say condensing or contracting the things look at this you can get a mcdonald's cheeseburger for only a dollar two two this is a fact we should not write the first sentence like this rather we should write one factor that contributes to the success of mcdonald's is low price you know this is an example of writing and other are example uh, which indicates how to write a good topic sentence and these are the example i think smoking causes cancer i think i like is difficult to develop so there is a very rare chances and scope are placed for the personal opinion and this should this should be stated like this smoking should be banned because it is hazardous to the human health no practice identify the topic and uh, i will give you uh, a paragraph and you will be a uh, required to underline the topic sentence and then the main body sentences and the clincher sentences and using the support the importance of using support types of support uh, we can have the personal experience we can give the example in the main body sentence the facts and details and then research results and then quotation and the numbers and figures all we can put in the supporting sentences are main body sentences so this is another paragraph uh, which is about the college expenses or the university expenses uh, and this is look at the topic sentence this is topic sentence college going to college can be expensive and this is the clincher sentence the fees never seem to end and 
the rest of the sentences are main body or supporting sentences and this is another paragraph example of paragraph and uh, practice it by your own and then reference answers from the paragraph you should do it by your own and all these and then concluding sentences the biggest change in job hunting these days is the use of the internet in the first paragraph topic sentences the biggest change in job hunting these days is the use of internet and what is the closing sentence the clincher sentence clearly job hunting is not what it used to be so you should define and you should underline it you should find find the t sentence topic sentence and the concluding sentences from all given three paragraphs some common problems in paragraph writing topic sentence is not written uh, uh, in effective manner second support is not concrete the supporting sentences is, is not just restatement of the same idea and writing the same thing again and again and again support is only partly relevant or not relevant at all this is another common problem in writing any paragraph then too many ideas are covered in a paragraph where a paragraph is single paragraph single idea when you are going to change the idea you should write uh, change the paragraph you should write the new paragraph and then concluding sentences is on a new point not mentioned in the support never end the paragraph on new note it should be supporting and it should be ending the that particular paragraph or that topic and this is the end of the lecture if you had any question you can ask please